Pisces, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clar clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for the sign of Pisces. Please and thank you. Okay, so currently the sun, okay, so you guys are headed towards some major blessings. There's big, happy changes that are about to take a place for you in your life, and this is happening at rapid speeds here. There's something that you're focused on. Uh, you've aimed for this, and you are taking fast action towards it as well. I'm seeing a lot of playful energy going on, too. <laughs> Some it's it's a message of being mindful to behave yourself as well because it's like with all these big happy changes, don't get lost in your ego here. So remain humble as things take off for you guys. Some of you guys within the next eight months, you'll be seeing significant changes within your life here. Strong Sagittarius and Leo energy, Gemini as well. Okay, so your blockage here is the lovers and the five of cups. There's a decision that, that needs to be made regarding love. Really acknowledging what do you like, what do you, what do you value here? Because whatever you value, you feel like it's worth fighting for. And whatever you don't value, then it's not worth fighting for. So they're, they're basically saying like, the way you're going to make some sort of decision here regarding something that you love, is it worth you fighting for? Are you willing to fight for it? Because if you're not, then it's not for you. Because if this was something, if it was truly a desire of your heart, and it's something that you were truly guided to do, then you will be willing to fight for it. But if you don't, if you don't want to fight for it, then it's not meant for you. So the nine of wands and we got strong Sagittarius energy coming through with the will of fortune, the nine of wands. Um, taking one is something that you're destined to do here, but this, the energy that I'm getting from you is that it's like, I've, I've done this before. I've tried to do this before. It didn't work out. Or I didn't have the resources that I needed to make something work here. And you're basically saying, I'm tired of really trying to make this work. It feels like you're, the, the energy that I'm getting from you is you feel like you're trying to force something to work here. And you're saying, if it was destined for me to do it, then it was just, and it's, and that's the thing. But I'm saying like you still have it within you to fight for something, but it's up to you because it's really, it's like this energy of saying like you have like worked so hard or you've been fighting for something for so long and you just feel like you're not getting the, the results that you wanted out of this situation. And there's a lot of frustration here. Okay, so someone, someone who tried to trap you end up trapping themselves. The thing is, is that you are meant to be a guiding light in someone's life, but instead this person tried to deceive you. They did, they tried some sort of trickery here and they ended up trapping themselves with the seven of swords. Thought that they were getting away with something, but this person is about to step into their own trap. And then they're going to need you to help guide them out of this. But the thing is, I'm getting like this was their last straw. There's no coming back after this. Whatever this person did, they have messed things up completely. With the hermit here, 
you have withdrawn your energy from this situation. It's not like you don't wonder how this person is doing. There's still this energy coming from you where you, you hope that this person is doing well. But at the same point, it was... Some of y'all, like, uh, people don't realize, like, your cutoff season, that was it. Some of y'all went through, like, a difficult time, and you had to cut off several people here, and they thinking, okay, this is just a moment. You know, they're having the moment. We'll be good again. But they don't realize, no, when you withdrew your energy, you may send them love from a distance, but you're good. You got this... Uh, Black wolf energy here. You're not afraid to go off on your own. You have a strong, independent energy. You're not afraid. You don't need to be with the crowd. And especially if it's some people who's been deceitful towards you. Lies. Trickery. A lot of game playing going on. You're done with it. You're manifesting your blessings here. And, and the... Some I'm getting strongly, some of y'all, because I'm getting seven to eight months, seven months uh, precisely for someone here with it popping up in your future energy. But there's a lot of love coming in for you in the near future within the seven months. And within seven months, I'm getting someone. Finally, you're able to taste the fruits that you've been working hard for here. I have one more for this King of Cups. The King of Cups is always a great card to see um, in your future position. But this King of Cups, someone is pouring out their heart to you. But it looks like y'all are just so y'all going to have a lot. That means y'all are about to be in a really great position. Because you have a lot of people like pouring out their heart and really disappointed. Yes, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Someone who set on their emotions instead of taking action on them. They're seeing you living this very abundant lifestyle. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Some, okay, so someone who set on their emotions... Now they're they're realizing that they let it all go to waste because this King of Cups is pouring out this cup of love here. So something that they set on, they didn't express to you. Now, this can be a romantic interest in the past or it can be friends, family, people within your immediate circle that you had a lot of love for that didn't show that love. And now they're sitting up here because you got them at a distance and they realize like they allowed all of this to go to waste. But someone who did not speak up and express the way that they felt or show you the love or show you any love has a lot of deep regrets here. Because I'm really getting strongly there's like someone from the past that you guys have some sort of strong attachment to. But they are seeing you acquire a lot of things, especially wealth, like your finances are looking great. I'm seeing you guys in a relationship here because whoever didn't take action towards you left room for someone else to take action. And it looks, that's, it looks like that's exactly what's happening. You have someone taking action towards you. So, but your life, you're going from the seven of pentacles waiting for your manifestations to come in to boom, you're at the ten of pentacles. There's like this jump in your life that's taking place. You're going from one place to the other at rapid speeds, going back to the eight of wands energy here. Three of wands and the temperance here. I'm getting this energy of y'all, you, you're saying like you're done patiently waiting for opportunities to come towards you. Now you're going after them. You guys have gained some sort of higher uh, per perception here, perspective here. Yeah, because I'm getting this energy of you guys, okay.
you're being mindful of what you give your energy towards, what you're being mindful of what you invest in. But you're tired of sitting around and waiting for the unknown. You're ready to take action. Y'all are ready to take action towards you. Like you're ready for movement here. That's the energy that you're giving out to the universe. It's a lot of action coming from you guys. We have, okay, strong Cancer and uh, Sagittarius energy is coming through for you guys. Sagittarius is really heavy up in this spread. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pisces, you guys are being seen as the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Justice. People are acknowledging that you are being guided by a higher source here. Like your steps are being guided by the divine. And that's very evident to a lot of people here. You are on the right side of karma. And you have people, people who are in high places and people who don't have anything. The funny thing is I'm seeing that you guys have been betrayed by both. You've been betrayed by people who were in high places that should have been there for you, that should have been protecting you, helping you to achieve certain things. Like, And then you have people that were in lower places that you had a lot of love for. You were there for these people, only for them to turn their back on you and betray you. But they didn't stop you. You remain focused and determined to achieve something within your life. And karma is on your side. And you're going to have people begging you for your forgiveness. They may not sit up here and be like, please forgive me for what I did. But you're going to have some people like trying to play nice with you. Kiss your butt. In order for you to forgive them or act like nothing ever happened. But I'm not seeing you being in that energy. You guys are very focused on your pinnacles at this time. With the nine of pinnacles coming through. Stepping into this uh, position of feeling very confident. Uh, and what you have achieved in your life. You're in this pre-empress energy. You're almost there. Whatever is coming in. But you guys are about to reach this point in your life. Where you're not going to have to work so hard anymore. Some of y'all have been like working really hard. To establish a particular life for yourself. And it's coming in. With grapes up in here. It's a lot of abundance coming in for you guys. You guys have strong pinnacle energies. Uh, coming through so your finances will be looking great but you guys have been putting the work towards it building some sort of empire for yourself a legacy for yourself okay so we got the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles here oh there is someone that you guys are going to be interested in I'm telling you is someone who's going to capture your interest. You're going to want to uh, get to know this person better. And you're going to want to commit to this person. Because you can see yourself having a great life with this person. So it's someone who's going to prove themselves to you. And you're going to, you're going to want to invest in this relationship with this person. I'm getting like you see them as someone who is honest and has a lot of integrity. I'm seeing that you guys are also very proud of yourself. You're very proud of what you have accomplished in your life. And a lot of you guys had to do it on your own with the Nine of Pentacles energy here. This is a, like strong, independent energy. So whatever you guys have achieved, I'm seeing you don't have anyone to say thank you to because you've been doing it on your own. What is your advice? Ace of Wands. Take the inspired action that you're being guided to take. Some of y'all are, it's like you're needing to be very focused at this time. I'm getting diligent, but it is something that's requiring your attention at this time that you're manifesting in your life. Someone's going to help you get out of your head or get unstuck from a particular situation. It looks like you have some help coming in. 888 is coming through. 
And we have sevens coming in as well. So some of y'all could be seeing these. So we have the full with the Ace of Pentacles and the moon. Okay, so you're being guided to embrace the unknown. Okay. You guys were definitely, you weren't, your way of thinking was brought on by other people. So whatever this mental prison that you guys either are currently finding yourself breaking free of or you're about to break free of I'm, I'm i'm not getting that you already have because i'm getting that you're still struggling from it but you were you were brought into this through other people that you trust that you blindly trusted some people here because they could i mean as people obviously you are close to friends family but they put you in this mental prison and you guys have been struggling to break free of it but I'm seeing you embracing this like childlike energy again. This innocent, this sweet, innocent energy about you. I'm also getting like a secret admirer uh, as well. And there's also a need for you to um, not to overly fantasize about something taking place in your life, but to actually put action and work towards it and to embrace the unknown with the uh, moon coming through here. Because you're being guided to take a leap of faith towards something and to trust your ability to make something happen. With the temperance card here, patience is required in this situation. But right now, they're currently guiding you to break free of some sort of mental prison that you've been led towards here. So be patient with yourself and the universe as they work with you to overcome this because... It didn't take place overnight. It took several years for you guys to uh, be placed in this mental prison. But you're about to, like, you're filling your own cup one by one. And then, boom, after the nine of cups, you have the ten of cups coming in. But there are things that I'm really getting, like, they're filling you up one by one. They're working on one thing at a time because all of this didn't happen overnight. So you can't expect to heal overnight as well. But you guys allow a lot of people to emotionally drain you. And now it's time to fill those cups back up. Because I'm getting like this real joyful energy that comes, that's coming from you. Real sweet, innocent, joyful energy here. That you're stepping back into. The thing is, is you just... It's okay to, you know, embrace this innocent energy and to embrace life and the happiness of life here. But I'm getting like you guys just don't want to be taken for no fool or be taken for granted. But you know how to establish boundaries now. Okay, so new beginnings, desire, sudden increase, resourceful, fertility as well. Child, okay, beginnings, creativity. Some of y'all are birthing something new. I'm not going to get, get into like you guys having a child. It is coming through strongly, but... 
I'm saying especially like girl, but I'm getting like this spontaneous, carefree energy, even though you may not have a lot of experience in a, a particular area and you're like new to it. This is something that you're being guided towards. I'm seeing you guys could be a little bashful and scared about this new beginning that's taking place, but it's going to bring in a lot of resources for you. Uh, Jen, so some of you guys could be having a lot of dreams lately, like very lucid dreams. I'm seeing you guys being placed in a very powerful uh, situation. Obstacles are being removed. You guys are getting some sort of support. 50-50, things are fluid, artistic, emotional. Dreams are important at this time. You guys are receiving messages throughout your dream. Virgo energy, this, this has been wanting to come through. So there are significant changes that's taking place during this Virgo season. Some of y'all are being guided uh, towards your healing and your dreams. It's like uh, feeling very sensitive at this time. Your intuition is heightening as well. Lovers, you guys have a strong spiritual connection that's coming in, falling in love with someone. I'm getting head over heels. I'm getting some of y'all will be traveling to some exotic places together as well. Yes, someone that you will be moving into or creating some sort of solid foundation with this person. Unexpected money. Some things will be going so well. Y'all are going to be waiting for the worst to happen because you're so used to like things falling apart. You're not used to things going well. So you're waiting for that message of concern to come in. But this is going to turn your life around. Yes, you guys are expecting the worst. But you don't realize whatever this bondage was that was holding you down, holding you back, you you broke free of it. So you're able to embrace this good time, but you're going to find it difficult to do so because of all you had to go through uh, or all the challenges you've experienced throughout your life. Okay, someone, um, you know what? Okay, given that someone is giving birth to some sort of creative idea, I am getting strong child too as well for someone because we have birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Involvement with the law. So I'm going to tell you guys what. Now I'm getting this message for someone who's in the process of birthing some sort of creative um, enterprise here. There's, there's something regarding your creativity that you're birthing and that's going to bring in a lot of success for you. You have some insincere people that have been a part of your life i'm getting these are people that you have been removed from like the universe has been working with you to remove these people from your life these people are going to find themselves involved i'm getting actual law but some people is just 
um, karma as well. It's all a part of their karma because, I mean, if they're doing these things to you, they've been doing this to other people as well. Something important such as a new job or a raise, your money is increasing. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what, I'm getting some people like a money scheme for someone here doing something um, in order to increase their finances. They're doing something here and they're going to end up getting in trouble for it. And these are the same people who have been insincere towards you. It's Dylan's or relationship with a woman. So some of you guys, it's a woman in particular that's had evil eye upon you. They've been wishing evil upon you, speaking evil upon you. And you guys have been picking this up intuitively that this woman is doing this stuff towards you. Getting together with friends. Okay, what you need to be mindful of is this person out the blue. They'll be like, you know, let's get together. Let's hang out. But intuitively, you're being guided not to interact with this person anymore. They're about to have some sort of karma hit them really hard here. And they're wanting you to steer clear of this. Because whatever this person is about to deal with. Oh, so some of y'all, you definitely have a strong commitment coming in for you as well. But be mindful of this. If this is resonating with you, whoever has been removed out of your life, leave them alone. Because they don't have good intentions towards you. And when they come back around, it's only to bring more drama. Honey, I can't tell you how many block messages I got. <laughs> I'll block somebody mid-sentence if you ain't saying what I like. Block. And you think I listen to them voicemails? Hell no. When <laughs> I didn't realize I was like, block messages? That's one thing. I was like, if I block somebody, why would I want their uh, messages? Like, they can't send you no text message, but you can still get the voicemails. Look inside yourself, uh, yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So some of y'all are needing to take a look inside yourself because whatever way you've been feeling, I'm really getting like some deep healing that's taking place within you guys here. But really needing to examine that whatever this mental prison that you guys are in is not, is something that you were blindly guided into here. I was just talking to my friend about that the other day because my one friend, oh my gosh, we are just the same. <laughs> we will block somebody in a quickness, honey. Uh, you would think I never knew that person. Because <laughs> I could walk straight past somebody. I, I would have known you my entire life, but don't know you no more. Big happy changes. Reconsider something because you're ready. So... Okay, so some of y'all are, you have big happy changes coming towards you. Some of y'all, you, you feel this energy. You've been putting it out there. You've been, you've been putting out really good energy. But I'm getting some self-doubt here. You've been reconsidering, am I really meant for this? Is this really, you know, like doubting yourself? It's some doubts. Because I'm getting like kind of talking down to yourself. This is some low energy. Look at this energy in this card. All the energy that's coming out of this person. And then all of a sudden, it's this uncertainty. This mental prison. This is what you're being guided out of. Because you are ready for whatever big happy changes that are about to take place. So... They are just working with you to get out of this mental prison. The universe is very understanding as to what you are dealing with at this time because they've been with you this entire time. So they understand why you are feeling a certain way. And they're working with you to overcome this. So trust the process. Don't be harsh on yourself. Now is not the time to be harsh on yourself and to talk down to yourself as to why you're doubting yourself or why you're uh, feeling a particular, particular way. Now is the time to love and nurture on yourself like you've always needed to be loved and nurtured upon. The way you've always deserved to be treated. It's time for you to treat yourself accordingly. 
spoil yourself. Do the things that you enjoy, the things that make you feel good. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.